Rahel and Esther have a peculiar relationship. As children, they considered themselves to be one person. They were a rare breed of family skin, physically separate but with joint identity. Rahel used to share experiences, dreams, and memories with Esther. Both twins are keen observers of the world. Although the twins have an uncanny subconscious connection, they are also very different. Rahel is outwardly expressive and awkward for all her quiet contempl contemplation, while Esther is decidedly even filled and solid. Isn't that Veluta? It's Veluta! Veluta! That's Veluta! Look! Oh. It's Veluta! Oh, snap! Look! It's Veluta! He's Veluta! Oh. I know! I know it's him! It's him! Oh. No! It's, it's not Veluta! Him. It's him! No! and warm woolen mittens, brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. <laughs> Cream-colored ponies and crisp apple strudels, doorbells and sleigh bells and schnitzel with noodles, wild geese that fly with the moon on their wings. These are a few of my favorite things. <laughs> Girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes, snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes, silver white winters that melt into springs. These are a few of my favorite things. When the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad, I simply remember my favorite things, and then I don't feel. The orange drink, lemon drink man, molested Esther in the lobby while the rest of the family is watching the sound of music. The incident haunt, haunted Esther well into the album.
are you Aunt Margaret and Sophie? Yes, we are. We are Uncle Chocolate and Nephew and me. I'm Rahel and Miss Eva. How is your flight? Oh, the trip from London to Manila is very long. Yes. Where are we going then? It's not a big house. Come on, I'm Hi, Chaco. Hi, Margaret. I just dropped the twins. They, you met them right yeah. here. Been a while. How are you? Yeah, long time no see, Chaco. I have to admit, I miss Manila. Yeah, it's been a while you've been here. My Sophie! Hi, Betty! Hello! Oh! You're, you're grown up! You're pretty! You Where too, are we Are you my Sophie Mall? Come here and let me see you. You have Papati's nose. You are so pretty and tall, my Sophie Mall. You're still a baby the last time I saw you, my Sophie Mall. Okay, let's play hide and seek. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come.
There you are. Babu, 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 what? Next up. I'm afraid I have no option but to ask for your resignation. What? Ask for your resignation. Look at you, you're drunk. But actually, there, there's always an option. Perhaps we could work something out. Think positive is what I always say. Count your blessings. Please. Babu, you have a wonderful family, beautiful children, and an extremely beautiful wife. So ask Abu to stay in the bungalow to look after. Husband Babu, who read the name? Babu, where have you been? So ready late. Not like this. My boss caught me not working and drunk. He gave me a serious talk. What? Are you crazy? It is Amu's lofty sense of injustice and demolished reckless trick that develops in someone small who has been bullied all their lives by someone big. That led her to fall in love with Veluta, an untouchable. Veluta and Amu see each other every night and when Amu and Veluta part at the end of each night, they simply say, tomorrow, tomorrow. 
how dare you do this to us? You are an embarrassment to my family. You betrayed us by having an affair with my only daughter. How could you? We provided everything for you to have a better life, and this is how you chose to repay us? Get out of my house! If I found you on my property tomorrow, I'll have you castrated like a paria dog that you are. I'll have you killed! We will see about that, Bamachi. Sophie, let's play! Come on, Sophie, run faster! Faster! <laughs> run the best! Come on, faster, Sophie! Faster! You're too fast, Festa. You're leaving us behind. That's okay, I'm a boy! <laughs> <laughs> Sophie! 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 Esther, what are we going to do? Calm down, Rahel! We will call the lifeguard! She's drowning! Sophie! Sophie! <laughs> Lifeguard finds Sophie Moe's body in the pool. Let's just stay in the history house for the night. But we need to have a place to stay for the night. Come on, we are both tired. We need to rest. Okay, we don't have a choice anyway. You're going to sleep there and I'm going to sleep here. Let's saw Sophie's body for the first time. She was so traumatized that she could not remember the next few days. Margaret was so furious at the twins for having survived. She instinctively knew that it was all Esther's idea to go out on the water. And before leaving Manila, she sought him out and slapped him without knowing what she was doing. After the funeral, Esther and Rahel went with Amu to the police station, where Amu told the officer that there had been a terrible mistake. The officer was rude to Amu and prodded her breast. On the train ride back to Manila, Amu was in trance and could only say, He said, I've killed him. Two weeks later, Papa forced Amu to send Esther to live with him.
I have to report a case of rape and kidnapping done by one of the untouchables, and he also works for my family, named Beluta. She raped my niece, Amu, and abducted three children. We just found out that Sophie was killed, one of the three children abducted. Don't worry, baby Kochama. We will do everything to find Veluta and the twins. Esther and Rahel, tell me the truth. Did Veluta force all of you to come with him? And did she kill Sophie Maud? No. Rahel, Sophie, and I were playing beside the pool. But she fell and drowned. We tried to save her, but we can. We called the lifeguards in the pool and went straight to the history house. We did not know that Veluta was there. I know how jealous you are to her, and if the judge asks me in court, I will have to tell him. I will tell them that you pushed Sophie in the pool. So now you will have to go to jail, and that includes your mother. The thing is, what's done is done. The inspector says he's going to die anyway, so it won't really matter to him what the police think. What matters is whether you want to go and not move. So, do you want to save Amu or send her to jail? If you want to save your mother, Esta, all you have to do is to answer the inspector's one question and answer it with a yes. We were just playing beside the pool, but Sophie fell. It was not. It's not us. It's not us. You didn't mean. Beluta is the god of loss and the god of small things. A being who left no footprints in sand, no ripples in water, no image in air. He is the bastion of the world of sacred, untouchable secrets, whispers, and overlooked spaces of reality. He moves through and eventually leaves the world quietly and without incident. The 
dreams made love, not because of passion, but with his dreams. Esther is so traumatized that he cannot communicate true words to the dreams, use their bodies to express their distress for the deaths of Amun, Feluda, and Zoe.